Hi, I'm Baron from Tegensen, and today we're going to talk about water ball valves. We'll discuss why a water ball valve is used for water applications, how to choose one, especially the materials, and lastly, the varying certifications you may need depending on the usage, like for potable water. Ball valves are great for water applications like irrigation, fire protection, and potable water applications. They're lightweight, easy to use, often available, and have a reliable leak-free seal, and don't take up too much space during installation. The basic working principle of a ball valve is pretty simple. It consists of a ball with a hole in that rotates inside the valve body. This allows you to control the flow of water. If you turn the ball so that the hole is lined up with the inlet and the outlet ports, water flows through. But if you turn the ball so that the hole is blocked, the flow of water will stop. All that is required is a 90 degree movement of the handle. Ball valves can also be automated with an electric or pneumatic actuator. Selecting the correct material for a ball valve housing and seal is critical. For water applications, it is crucial that the ball valve does not corrode or rust. Therefore, for housing materials, brass, bronze, stainless steel and PVC can be used. For the seal, EPDM or MER can be used, while the seats are made of Teflon. The two most common applications for water ball valves are for everyday water lines and for irrigation systems. For water lines, ball valves play a major role in controlling the flow of water. They can turn off the water in case of emergency, control the water pressure inside a water heater, and also isolate water to certain areas. They are typically made out of brass to add durability. For irrigation systems, ball valves help control water flow, and when it comes to maintenance, they can isolate certain parts of a system to make things easier. Plus, they play a big role in maintaining the water pressure and preventing any backflow. One important point to note is that when water is dirty, the ball valve may become clogged, resulting into possible leakage or unreliable operation. To avoid this, you can install a filter on the supply side. These valves are typically made out of PVC since they are typically buried and protected. It is important to note that these valves are usually installed permanently into a residential or commercial application. Over time, they can wear out and cause contamination. This is why it's crucial to choose a valve that meets the specific requirements for safe drinking water. Always make sure to check your manufacturer's documentation to see if your valve is compliant for drinking water applications in your region. For example, in the US, ball valves for drinking water applications need the NSF marking, which stands for National Sanitation Foundation. In the Netherlands, it is the KIWA watermark. In the UK, it is the WRAS certification. Therefore, check your local area for what certifications your ball valve needs to meet for potable water applications. It's also important to get an anti-legionella ball valve. This allows for drainage of any water that is trapped around the ball valve to prevent any still water that would encourage the growth of bacteria. For more details on water ball valves, please take a look at our Thamesons Technical Information Center. You can also check out our other videos. On our online store, we have a wide variety of water ball valves suitable for almost every application. If you found this a useful video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions about water ball valves or another product, please send them to me or someone else at Thameson.